Depression is a huge issue after a traumatic brain injury. Um, you know, we know that depression in itself, in general, is caused by changes in chemicals in the brain. Uh, we know that people after traumatic brain injury have a changed brain and changed chemicals in their brain. After traumatic brain injury, your risk of depression is probably about doubled. Uh, somewhere between 40 and 60 percent are the numbers that you could see over time. Um, and, and this can be very disabling for people uh, uh, after traumatic brain injury to be suffering depression. Um, Certainly, when you're looking at the treatment for, of depression after traumatic brain injury, you want to make sure to look at both counseling, which, which can play an important part, uh, a, and also medications. Um, medications can be effective in treating depression, uh, uh, definitely so. Obviously, they need to be, people need to be closely monitored uh, by their doctor uh, for their medications. There are medications, antidepressant medications, that should be used cautiously or even avoided uh, in people with traumatic brain injury. And these are some of the older medications which are usually placed under the uh, category of the tricyclic antidepressants. These are, are examples of these include amitriptyline, uh, which is also called Elevil. Um, and these can actually have negative effects on people's memory and can have a lot of side effects and should be used cautiously. Some of the newer antidepressants like Paxil or Prozac uh, or Celexa um, have a lower side effect profile and probably would be more effective and more appropriate in the treatment of someone with a traumatic brain injury.